Uh, it's been fun to get here, especially the way that these guys did it to get here. Uh, so we're just going to take business as usual and try to enjoy this very much. It's tough to get here, we know that. So we're going to take as much as we can from it in a learning sense and then enjoy it as much as we can. You know what, we've never been accused of being too defensive, I guess, and uh, we do like to score goals. Like We have four lines that like to score goals and, and, and 6D that like to score goals. So we, we play that way. I think that's a fair assessment. Um, they score a lot of goals too. No, I, I think they, they present some unique challenges because they, they have, I mean, two scores in the top four of the nation that play on different lines. I don't think there's going to be any team uh, that this year or that I can remember that, that have a situation like that. So they've got a lot of weapons. Um, that being the case, I, I, we were in the ECAC, our coaching staff was in the ECAC, and we, we greatly respect you know, the culture that they have. They have a tremendous work ethic. They always have. Um, and now they, they add two to the top scorers in the nation. So we know that they can beat you a number of ways. Um, very much respect the way they play, but I don't think that we can compare it to anybody we played this year. Well, I haven't hoed anything, but I tell you what, it was unbelievable. It was awesome. Uh, we were really, really excited to win Friday night because that pretty much guaranteed that we get in the tournament. That was something that we've talked about that guys we really wanted badly. And, and to see Eric Audio score in double overtime was just, just awesome. It was so fun. It was awesome. And, and quite honestly, as a coaching staff anyway, we didn't know what to expect on Saturday. We didn't, uh, we didn't know what to expect. And the fact that they, I mean, they, they shouldn't have been able to skate in the first period, let alone the fifth. And for them to do it again in double overtime was amazing. So the highs, you know, culminated one after another were incredible. So much fun. The locker room was a blast. And uh, I think the second part of your question was how do we relate that to this week? I, it's tough. I mean, we just sort of try to do what we do. Um, fortunately, the guys are so much fun. They have a great time, whether it's after winning the Big Tens or if it's just a, a regular Tuesday practice. They have a really good time, and that's pretty much how we focus or pretty much how we've approached this week. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I mean, it's a lot of fun. Uh, they deserve it. They've, they've worked hard, but they've had a great time doing it. And um, they've had a lot of success in the classroom. And they deserve, in my mind, they deserve everything they've gotten. And if, if, if to win back-to-back -back double overtime games after playing on a Thursday, um, they absolutely deserve it. So it's been a ton of fun. I think the whole state college community is really excited, um, which is fun to see. The university is extremely supportive and excited, and it's been, it's just been a blast. I mean, I don't want it to end. It's been so much fun.